Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Tonight, it's the penultimate match in the first round. Twelve teams are through to the second round. Eight have gone home. Four losing teams will return to compete in the playoffs, and we already know that the universities of Sheffield and York are among them, and Durham University and Jesus College Oxford are no doubt watching with interest to see if their losing scores of 145 each will be beaten either tonight or next time. Now, Imperial College London owes much of its existence to Prince Albert's attempts to crank up the cultural and scientific activities of his adopted country in the mid-19th century. It became part of the University of London until it gained independence on its centenary in 2007. Now it has a student population drawn from around 125 countries. Alumni include H.G. Wells, Roger Bannister, the future Prime Minister of India, Rajiv Gandhi, and the Nobel laureate Alexander Fleming. Imperial is, of course, a scientific institution and doesn't offer any arts courses, but that hasn't stopped them from winning this series in 1996 and in 2001. With an average age of 23, representing over 17,000 fellow students, let's meet the Imperial team. Hello, I'm Richard Brooks. I'm from Stockton Tees and I study mechanical engineering. Hi, I'm Brandon out of Jamaica, Queens, New York City, doing a master's in computing. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Caleb Rich. I'm from Lewisham in London, and I'm studying for an MRes in controlled quantum dynamics. Hi, I'm Connor. I'm from Dublin, and I'm doing a PhD in computer science. The team from Brasenose College, Oxford, represent an institution founded in 1509 for the study of theology as well as sophistry, logic, and philosophy. Out of an impressive list of alumni, or Brasenostrils as they call themselves, <laughs> One can take one's pick from the England cricketer Colin Cowdery, the actor Mark Williams, William Webb Ellis, who instigated the game of rugby, the broadcaster Michael Palin, the writers John Buchan and William Golding, and the former Prime Minister David Cameron. With an average age of 20 and representing around 600 students, let's meet the Brazenose team. Hi there. I'm Alan. I'm from Farmington, Connecticut, and I'm studying philosophy, politics, and economics. Hi, I'm Maud. I'm from North London and I'm reading classics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Ollie. I'm from Wolverhampton and I'm studying maths. Hi, I'm Tucker. I'm from Detroit and I study philosophy and linguistics. <laughs> OK, any students watching tonight who fancy their chances in next year's competition should know that their Students' Union or JCR has already been sent all the information needed to put a team together, so give it a go. We'll be happy to share our takeaway pizzas with you. <laughs> now, the rules are the same as ever. 10 points for starters, 15 for bonuses. So, fingers on buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. What four-letter word precedes bending, blowing and boggling in terms uh, coined... Brasenose Hall. Mind? Mind is correct, yes. <laughs> your bonuses are on a geographical area. For the French for to rise and referring to the sunrise, what term was historically applied to the countries along the eastern shores of the Mediterranean? Um, Levant. 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 The Levant is correct, yes. In existence from the 16th to the 19th centuries, the Levant Company was set up to regulate trade between England, the Levant and which empire? Ottoman. The Ottoman Empire is correct. Levant States was a name given to a French mandate after World War I. It comprised which two countries that became independent in the 1940s? Lebanon and... Mm. Palestine. Lebanon. Lebanon. Jordan. 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 Lebanon and Jordan. No, it's Syria and Lebanon. Ten points for this. Which South American country links the women's triple jump winner at the 2016 Olympics, the runner-up in the Tour Prince of France... Prince knows Hanson. Venezuela. No, you lose five points. The runner-up in the Tour de France in 2017, the winner of the Giro d'Italia in 2014, an international goalkeeper associated with the Scorpion kick, and in the 2018 FIFA Men's World Cup, the team beaten by England in the round of 16. <laughs> Imperial McMeal. Colombia. Colombia's correct, yes. 
Your bonuses are on national anthems, Imperial. Who composed the music that was later adapted for the German national anthem, Deutschland Lied, having used it in his Emperor Quartet? Emperor. Emperor. Beethoven? No, it was Haydn. The 19th century pianist Calixa Lavalle wrote the music for the national anthem of which country? Versions of the lyrics were written independently by Adolphe Basile Routier and Robert Stanley Weir. Switzerland? No, it's O Canada. And named after its lyricist, the work known as Mamelie's Hymn is the national anthem of which European country? Sweden? No, it's Italy. Ten points for this. Born in Hanover in 1826, which mathematician gives his name to a definite integral calculated by dividing an area under a curve of a real-valued function into rectangular sub-intervals, summing their areas and taking the limit of the sum as the width of the intervals tends to zero? Imperial Rich. Riemann. Riemann is correct, yes. Your bonuses this time, Imperial, are on pairs of words that have the same spelling but vary in that one has an initial stress syllable, for example, record and record. Give both words from the definitions in each case. Firstly, a mixture of aromatic substances that emits a fragrant odour when burnt and a verb meaning to inflame with excitement or anger. Incense. Incense, incense. incense and incense. Correct. Secondly, a small administrative division in a French-speaking country and to communicate at a deep level of mental or spiritual engagement. Commune. Commune. Yeah. Commune. Commune. Correct. And finally, a material thing that can be seen and touched and a verb meaning express disapproval of something. Object. Object, object and object. Correct. <laughs> Time, I think, for our first picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map it shows the municipal boundaries of a European city. For ten points, name the city. Imperial Brooks. Stockholm. Stockholm is correct, yes. <laughs> so we follow on from Stockholm with maps showing three more major cities built on islands. Ten points for each you can identify. Firstly, this North American city, the city proper, is indicated within the broader metropolitan area. Yeah, yeah, it's Montreal. in the two Montreal. islands. Montreal. Yeah. Montreal is correct. Secondly, this Asian city. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say Mumbai. Um, yeah. Yeah, Mumbai. Okay. Mumbai. Mumbai. Mumbai is correct. And finally, this European city. Riga, is it Riga? I like Riga. Yeah, I like Riga. Uh, Riga? No, it's St. Petersburg. Uh -huh. Ten points for this. Who is this? Born in Indiana in 1891, he was president of the Yale University Glee Club and is reputed to have served with the French Foreign Legion during the First World War, entertaining its troops with a portable piano. As a composer and lyricist, his works include the songs Begin the Begin, Love for Sale... Imperial Brandon. Berlin. No, you lose five points. Begin the Begin, Love for Sale, and Night and Day. You may not confer. One of you can buzz, Brazenose. Brazenose Hansen. Scott Joplin. Scott Joplin? No, it's Cole <laughs> Porter. Ten points for this. Answer promptly, naming any two of the four contiguous countries whose presidents since 1990 have included Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, Islam Karimov, Sapa Murat Yinasov and Hassan Rouhani. Great Snows Mullen. Um, Iran and Afghanistan? Uh, no. Imperial Brandon. Iran, Turkmenistan. The other two are Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. <laughs> right, your bonuses, Imperial, are on scientific terms. In each case, give the term from the definition. The answers all have the same middle letter. Firstly, 
the most important ore of aluminium. It derives its name from a village in Provence, close to the site of its discovery. Bauxite. Bauxite. Yeah. Yeah. Bauxite. Bauxite is correct. Secondly, inorganic chemistry, the hydrocarbon radical C6H13. I need you to spell this five-letter term. That's not excellent, no. It's got to be an excellent. No, it's not. Yeah, but X is probably in the middle, which is what it is. Pass. That's Hexyl, H-E-X-Y-L. And finally, in biology, a group or unit used in the classification of organisms. Examples include species, family, order and phylum. Taxon. Taxon is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. When it comes to decreasing inequalities of wealth for good or reducing unusually high levels of public debt, a progressive tax on capital is generally a better tool than inflation. Which French economist made that... Imperial rich. Uh, Piketty. Piketty is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Imperial, are on Barbie dolls. To mark International Women's Day in 2018, the manufacturer released several new dolls based on historical and contemporary role models. In each case, name the person from the description. Firstly, a mathematician who contributed to the US space program, along with fellow African Americans, Mary Jackson and Dorothy Vaughan. Catherine Johnson. Johnson. Uh, nominate Brandon. Johnson. First name? Catherine. Correct. Secondly, born in Kansas in 1897, the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic. Uh, Erhart. Amelia Earhart is correct. And finally, a boxer born in Leeds in 1982. She is a double Olympic gold medalist. Nicola Adams. Nicola Adams? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What four-letter word is spelled out by the initial letters of the capitals of Venezuela, Pakistan, Albania and Cameroon? Imperial Brandon. City. City is correct. Three questions on a philosophical concept for your bonuses, Imperial. What five-letter Greek term did Heraclitus and later philosophers use to describe the universal principle that gives order and rationality to the world? Logos? Mm -hmm. Logos? Try it. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's... No, I don't, I don't know. That's not what I know from Heraclitus. Uh, Logos? Correct. Mm -hmm. Founded by Zeno of Kittium in the early 3rd century BCE, which school of philosophy saw Logos as an active spiritual principle that permeated all reality? Yeah, Zeno is Stoicism. Uh, Stoicism? Correct. In most English versions of the Bible, how is Logos translated in the opening verse of St John's Gospel? Word. Word is correct. <laughs> We're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can name the composer, please. Imperial Brooks. Aaron Copeland. It is Aaron Copeland. That's part of his Appalachian Spring. <laughs> that was originally commissioned as a ballet for the influential dancer and choreographer Martha Graham. Your music bonuses are three works for which Graham created dances. Name the composer of each. Firstly, the composer of this 19th century piece, which Graham used as the basis for a 1926 solo dance. A uh, list? No, that's by Schumann. It's part of Coloured Leaves. Secondly, the US composer of this work, commissioned for Graham in 1945. Uh, glass? No, that was Samuel Barber, part of Cave of the Heart. And finally, the composer of this work from the 1890s, which Graham used as the basis of her final completed ballet. Joplin. 
It is Scott Joplin, you're right. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Answer promptly, giving any two of the three words, differing only in their first three or four letters, that mean loving humanity, hating humanity, and humans assuming the form... Praise knows more. Philanthropy and misanthropy. That's correct, yes. <laughs> the catastrophe was the third one, but to do with rules. But you were quick there. Right, your bonuses are on physics, Brazenose. What SI-derived unit is used to measure the quantity of luminous flux, that is, radiant flux, weighted to the frequency response of the human eye? Flux or candela? Candela or candela? Candela. 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 No, it's lumen. <coughs> or candela per steradian, but you didn't say that. What unit measures flux per unit area? Lux. Lux is correct, yes. By what 11-letter term is flux per unit area known? Luminosity. Yeah, Luminosity. No, it's illuminance. Ten points for this. I need a precise seven-letter term. What form of understatement is expressed in the line, I am... Imperial Brooks. Meiosis. No, you lose five points. I am no prophet, and here's no great matter. The term can also be taken as an anagram of the name of the poet who wrote those words. You may not confer. Brains knows Marlon. Lytotes. Lytotes is correct. You get a set of bonuses on cats in fine art, Brazenose. An animal usually thought to be a cat appears hissing at a naked woman in The Temptation of St Anthony, a triptych by which early Netherlandish artist? Mm, Van Eyck. Van Eyck. No, it's by Bosch. Bosch. In the 1880s, who painted a contented cat on the lap of Julie Manet? This portrait is often identified with the artist's anger period. Matisse or Renoir. 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 Renoir is correct. A white cat looking out of a window is a title figure of Mr and Mrs Clark and Percy by which post-war British artist? Hockney, okay. definitely. Okay. David Hockney. Correct. Ten points for this. Which US director's films include adaptations of novels by Humphrey Cobb Vladimir Nabokov, William Makepeace Thackeray, Anthony B Imperial Brandon. Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick is correct. Well done. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses, Imperial, on long distance running. Firstly, for five, which British national park is the setting of the Bob Graham Round, a 24 hour running challenge over 66 miles and 42 peaks? <laughs> Peak District? No, it's the Lake District. Situated on an estuary to the northeast of the Snowdonia National Park, which castle is a regular starting point of the Dragon's Back race over 200 miles of Welsh mountains? Uh, Wrexham Castle? No, it's Conway Castle. Run in January each year, the 268-long Spine Race is a non-stop seven-day race from Edale to Kirk Yetholm along which national trail? That's what I would have said. Uh, the Pennine Way? It is the Pennine Way, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a second picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a painting. Ten points if you can name the artist. Raise nose Drew. Dolly. It is Salvador Dali, yes. <laughs> that was his St John of the Cross, which is part of the collection of Glasgow's Kelvin Grove Gallery. Your picture bonuses are three more works from the Kelvin Grove collection. Name the artist in each case. Firstly... Mm, this looks like... Mm, Botticelli. Botticelli. Botticelli, for Botticelli. Botticelli. Botticelli is correct, the enunciation. Secondly... Constable, sure. Constable. Constable. It is Constable, his Hampstead Heath. And finally, this is a work in oils by which artist and designer? Clint. 
Um, Clint. Is it definitely so. Clint? I don't know, but just don't we don't want to. Should we go for it? No, no, no. no. Sorry, Clint. Clint. No, it's Charles Rennie Macintosh. I see where you're coming from, though. Ten points for this. Which three consecutive letters of the alphabet begin the surnames of the philosophers who wrote, respectively, two treatises on government, discourses on Livy, and anarchy state... And Imperial McMeal. L-M-N. L-M-N is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Imperial, are on human anatomy, meaning a sac or cavity in an organ or tissue. What short Latin term may follow maxillary frontal or ethmoid in human anatomy? A bursa? No, it's sinus. Characterised by sinus node dysfunction, sick sinus syndrome, is a collection of conditions of what organ? Uh, nose? No, it's the heart. Dural venous sinuses are located in what organ? Skin? No, they're in the brain. Ten points for this. In molecular biology, the abbreviation PCR... Imperial Brandon. Polymerase chain reaction. Correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on the writer Neil Gaiman. Born in Hampshire in 1960, Gaiman's first credit as author was for a 1984 paperback biography of which British pop band? The who? No, it's Duran Duran. What is the title of Gaiman's dark fantasy series of comics running from 1989 to 96? Its protagonist is Morpheus, a manifestation of the ability of sentient beings to dream. Is that American Gods or something? Of course, it's Sandman. Sandman. Sandman is correct. For which novel did Gaiman receive the 2009 Newbery Medal? It concerns an orphan raised by ghosts in a cemetery. Coraline? Uh, Coraline? No, it's the graveyard book. Ten points for this. The Russian city of Omsk lies on which river? One of the longest in Asia. It rises in the Altai Mountains in western China and flows through Kazakhstan before joining the river Ob in western Siberia. Imperial Brandon. Irtish. Irtish is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Imperial, are on the Winter Olympics held eight times between 1901 and 1926. What was the name of the precursor of the Winter Olympic Games, which featured mainly athletes from Norway and Sweden? Yeah, try it. Nordic Games? Correct. Secondly, the first Olympic Committee-sanctioned International Winter Sports Week took place in Chamonix, France, in what year? 1924. Uh, 1924? Correct. The formally designated second Winter Olympic Games took place in 1928 in which Swiss town? St. Moritz. Uh, St. Moritz. St. Moritz is correct. <laughs> for this. Name any one of the three men who served as US president in 1841. Imperial Brandon. William Henry Harrison. Correct. The others are Van Buren and Tyler. <laughs> right, so you get a set of bonuses then, Imperial, on Spanish geography. Which autonomous community of northern Spain derives its name from the river that flows into the river Tiron and thence to the Ebro? Uh, yeah, is that a river? That's in northern Spain. I don't know if well, there's like Navarre, Basque, Asturias, Cantabria. Okay. Pick your favourite. Navarre? Navarre? No, it's the Rioja. La Rioja shares borders with the autonomous communities of Navarra, Aragon, Castile, Leon, and which other to the north? That's either Cantabria or... Did he say Basque country? No, he said... Then I just thought I'd try that. Uh, Basque country? Correct. Including the Picos de Europa, which mountain range extends across northern Spain from the Basque country to Galicia? Um, oh, that's the one yeah. on the top. That's not the Pyrenees, because it okay. goes all the way over. It's um, something else. Try it. Anyway, um, Pyrenees. Try it. Yeah, that's what it's Pyrenees? No, it's the Cantabrian mountains. Ten points for this. In its usual American English spelling, what colour is also the name of the SI unit of the absorbed dose? Imperial Rich. Uh, Grey. Yes, gun spelt. Uh, G R A Y. Correct. 
Right, your bonuses are on the dispersal of seeds. What is the vector dispersal in Anemocori? Wind. Wind? Correct. What is the botanical name for an archene in which the pericarp is extended into a wing to facilitate wind dispersal, as in the ash or maple? Mm -hmm. Wait, what do I remember? Botanical name. I don't remember. Sycamore. 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 No, it's Samara. And finally, what part of a dandelion flower develops into the feathery pappus? Petals? Don't know Chinese. Uh, petals? It's the calyx or sepals. Ten points for this. What alphanumerical designation is shared by major roads that link the following pairs of locations? Paris and Lille, Belfast and Newry, Athens and Thessaloniki, and London and Edinburgh. <laughs> Imperial Brandon. A1. A1 is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on dog breeds, named after a prefecture in northwest Honshu. Which dogs are noted for their loyalty and are said to have inspired the samurai with their fighting spirit? So, the Shiba Inu? Mm -hmm. That's a Japanese dog. Uh, Shiba Inu? No, they're Akita. Secondly, which small lap dogs have a name that roughly translates as lion sun dog? After their resemblance to a creature in Chinese mythology. Sons. I think it's Chow Chow. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm? Yeah, I think I think that's a dog. Uh, Chow Chow? No, they're Shih Tzus. What breed of hound takes its name from the French for low, referring to the dog's low slung structure? Basset. Basset is correct. Ten points for this. Used as a substitute for egg white, the drained liquid from cans. Imperial Rich. Aquafaba. Aquafaba is correct, yes. Very impressive buzz. <laughs> Bonuses are on abbreviations. The AAA and the CCC were government bodies established by which 20th century US president? Uh, FDR. Correct. In 1854, the German author Peter Cornelius defined which three composers? <laughs> and at the gong, Brazenose College Oxford have 70, Imperial College London have 255. Many congratulations to both of you. It was a good game. Actually, it was stronger than that score seems to suggest, I think, Brazenose. Imperial, many congratulations to you. I think that is the highest score so far in this first round. We shall look forward to seeing you in round two, and I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Brazenose College, Oxford. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Imperial College. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.